Let's get right to it. If you're interested in machine learning and need a quick overview of it, I've got you covered. Below this video, I'll post a link on a short course on machine learning I wrote on Quora. I call it my crash course. It's really about 20 or so posts of machine learning in the real world. It'll give you a high level understanding of what machine learning is, the core definitions, and the tools we use. In this video, let's talk about lesson number 12, which focuses on frameworks and libraries. Contrary to popular belief, machine learning engineers don't author their own models. We use ones that are already written. Why would you author your own models when great frameworks like TensorFlow and great libraries like XGBoost exist? Speaking of libraries and frameworks, let's talk about the differences because it's confusing. It's confusing because TensorFlow, written by Google, claims it's a library and a framework. While that's technically true, it doesn't make it easy to understand the difference between a library and a framework. Here's how you can think of it at a very high level. A framework can live on its own, and a library cannot. I can use TensorFlow to create a complete end-to-end -end deep learning solution. TensorFlow has everything I need. A library cannot live on its own. For example, the Pandas library is used mostly for working with data. I can't use Pandas alone to build an end-to-end -end machine learning solution. The sole focus of Pandas is data manipulation. Here's another example. When I build deep learning models, I use Keras, which is a library that sits on top of TensorFlow. I can't use Keras alone. Keras needs an engine to do the heavy lifting. However, I can do everything in TensorFlow that I can do in Keras and process all the other components for the end-to-end -end machine learning process. I like to think of it this way. A framework is the engine that drives everything. A library needs an engine to work. Pandas is a library. Scikit-learn is a library. XGBoost is a library. Wait, can I use XGBoost alone? Why isn't XGBoost a framework? I can use it without any other framework. Can you? Don't you need an array to hold your data? Don't you need something like NumPy to do all the linear algebra computations under the hood? I'll let you decide. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day. We'll see you soon.